Hi, welcome to our channel. Today's video is all about variety of living organisms. All living organisms are composed of units called cells. In many cell organisms, there may be hundreds of different types of cells with different structures. Despite all the differences, there are basic features that are the same in all cells. Most cells contain certain parts such as the nucleus, cytoplasm, and cell membrane. Some cells have structures missing. For instance, red blood cells are unusual in that they have no nucleus. Humans, for example, are composed of hundreds of different kinds of cells, from nerve cells to blood cells, skin cells to liver cells. The living material that makes up a cell is called cytoplasm. It has a texture rather like sloppy jelly, in other words, somewhere between a solid and a liquid. It's a complex material made of many different structures. An electron microscope has a much higher magnification and can show the details of these structures, which are called organelles. Nearly all cells have a nucleus. The nucleus controls the activities of the cell. The DNA remains in the nucleus, but the instructions for making proteins are carried out of the nucleus to the cytoplasm, where the proteins are assembled on tiny structures called ribosomes. A cell contains thousands of ribosomes, but they are too small to be seen through a light microscope. One very important group of proteins found in cells are enzymes. Enzymes control the chemical reactions that take place in the cytoplasm. All cells are surrounded by a cell membrane, sometimes called the cell surface membrane, to distinguish it from other membranes inside the cell. It forms a boundary between the cytoplasm of the cell and the outside. Some chemicals can pass into the cell and others can pass out. We say that the membrane is partially permeable. The membrane can go further than this and actually control the movement of some substances. It is selectively permeable. One organelle that is found in the cytoplasm of all living cells is the mitochondrion. In cells that need a lot of energy, such as muscle or nerve cells, there are many mitochondria. They carry out some of the reactions of respiration releasing energy that the cell can use. Most of the energy from respiration is released in the mitochondria. Nearly all cells contain cytoplasm, a nucleus, a cell membrane, and mitochondria. As well as these structures, plant cells have a cell wall and a permanent vacuole, and plant cells that photosynthesize contain chloroplasts. It is made mainly of a carbohydrate called cellulose, although other chemicals may be added to the cell wall in some cells. Plant cells absorb water, producing an internal pressure that pushes against adjacent cells, giving the plant support. Without the cell wall strong enough to resist these pressures, this method of support would be impossible. Animal cells don't have a cell wall and tend to be more variable in shape. Mature plant cells often have a large central space surrounded by a membrane, called a vacuole. Animal cells do contain vacuoles, but they are only small temporary structures. Cells of the green parts of plants, especially the leaves, contain another very important organelle, the chloroplast. Cells from the part of a plant that are not green, such as the flowers, roots and woody stems, have no chloroplast. Thank you for watching. If you like the content, like and subscribe to our channel.